Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, I appreciate you and welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope to see you back soon. Take some time out right now before we get started on this video. Like, share, and subscribe. You know the drill. Don't forget to push that notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload new content, right? Okay, so let's not sleep on you, girl. All right, so as you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to get right on into it because I know some of you girls, you need to know this information. We'll be back. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so the title of this video is How to Know You Are Truly Over Your Ex. You know, we all go through things and sometimes we have exes that are so near and dear to our heart that we just keep on going back to them, even though we know they ain't no damn good for us. But when you truly, truly are done, there's nothing that he can do or say to make you come back. Number one, and it doesn't mean that it's in the order of importance, but the number one is you no longer care when or if they call you again. You know, when you really into somebody, you get pissed off if they don't call you, if you haven't heard from them, if it's been all day and they haven't sent you a text message or whatnot, okay? But when you truly, truly get over someone, Honey, none of that matters. You'll look up and you'll be like, oh, I ain't talked to so-and-so in two days, in three months, in a whole year. That's when you realize that this thing is truly, truly over. I'm done with this dude. And it don't even matter to me, you know, whether he calls me or not, because guess what? I have moved on. I have moved on. And when you get to that point in your life, you know, you really, it, you know, it's time, honey, it's time for you to just move on and get on to that next man, right? Or the next woman, if you're a dude, all right? So that's number one. Number two, they don't cross your mind that much at all. I mean, you know, I, I know when I first break up with somebody, they're always on my mind, especially if I could remember a lot of the good times. So when we break up and... You know, they tend to stay on my mind if they meant something to me. And I'm one of those people that it's hard for me to fall in love, but even harder for me to fall out of love. So I always realize that once I'm done, it does still take me a little while. But I realize that that key sign that I've made it over that hump is when those people no longer occupy my mind. When I wake up, I don't think about them. When I'm going to sleep, I don't think about them. When I have downtime, because you know, most of the time we busy ourselves trying to make sure we stay busy and not focused on missing that relationship, right? So now, uh, you know, you realize that you're over him or her when you no longer think about them. Like your whole day is smooth and not one time that you think about calling them writing them, sending them a notice, any of that crap, right? So that's when you realize that you finished, that you could put, it's done, and that it's time to move on. Number three, when you can actually go out on a date and you're not worried about if you're going to make that other person, your ex, mad, or you're not worried about are they going to call while you're gone, or are they going to call while you're out, that if the fact that you're going out with somebody is going to mess up your chance for getting back with them, when you can actually go out with somebody and don't worry about stuff like that, you over them, you over them, sis. It's like you ready to move on because at the end of the day, when you give zero Fs, you know, I'm going to say it, zero fucks <laughs> about what they think about you going out or hanging with somebody else, then you know 
that you truly, you, you done done. You know what I mean? And that's where you want to be. You want to be done done with the whole situation so that you can move on to what's for you. And, you know, because sometimes when we hold on to the past that we kind of cut off our chances for the future, right? So you want to be able to know that your future boo is on lock because you're no longer thinking about your ex boo and what he thinks or feels about what you're doing. Number four, and this is a big one for me because my ex, we, we never let a holiday, we never let a birthday pass, we never let any of that stuff go when we were together. And even when we did our back and forth thing, we always wished each other happy birthday, happy Easter, happy Mother's Day, happy Father's Day, all that. When you know, when, you, when those days come up and that person ain't on your mind, that ain't the first, you're not going to get up and you're not going to grab your phone and, and text them and say happy birthday, happy Father's Day, happy Easter, all of that, how's your family doing? You done, sis. You can move on with your life. You can move on with your life finally. And so that is really a big telltale sign. If you don't have the desire or you don't feel like you have to call this man or this woman and wish them a happy anything, right? Because they no longer are on the radar. It's just you and you not you and him, and you, there's no hopes of reconciliation or anything. You can move on with your holiday, with your current family, and not even think about what he got going on. Now, I would say this is the biggest, and this is the biggest one for me, I don't know about you, that you could actually see them out with someone else, and it don't bother you. You can even talk to their new spouse, and it don't bother you. They can tell you they got a new woman or new man and it don't bother you. That's when you know that you are truly over it because I know for a fact this particular person that I'm talking to about, had they told me a year and a half ago, two years ago that they were seeing someone else, I would have been devastated. But now I'm like, congrats to you. Congrats to you. You know, it would not bother me that you moved on to someone else because we done done, right? We finished. And this one, I know I can clear my conscience and actually go out. I'm not, like I said before, I'm not worried about anything that I do that's going to hinder us from getting back together. I really don't care who you're sleeping it with, how you giving it to her. None of that because I don't care anymore. And I'm going to tell you something. When you get to that place where you could actually say that you don't care about who they are, I mean, who they're with, where they are, where they're going, and how come it don't include you, you're done. You're ready to move on. And sometimes I'm going to tell you something. It's better for you to be by yourself than to keep on going back to some an ex or to find yourself in something new because you're trying to pass the time. Spend some time with yourself, sis. It ain't nothing wrong with spending some time with yourself. Get yourself together. You finally can, you know, get on that workout routine. Try some new hairdos out that he didn't like. Do all of that stuff. Start to love you when you're not in a relationship anymore, right? Because when you're in a relationship, your life tends to be centered around the other person. At least that's how it is for most women and some men, but most women, we tend to cater to our mates. It's time to cater to you. All those things that you were not able to do when you were in a relationship, this is the perfect time for you to get it together. This is a perfect time for you to discover you, to, to get some newfound peace, to read a book, to hang out with your girls without having to worry about it. Hell, even gel out in your bed and flip the channels. That means you ain't got to share that remote no more and watch all them damn sports that they want to watch when they want to watch the highlights of the highlights of the highlights, right? So now you have a chance to really just do you. I'm not saying you shouldn't date. I'm saying make sure you are healed. If all of those five things that I just told you are not happening, you may not be healed. OK, so you want to make sure that you don't get a burning or a yearning when you hear that he's dating someone else. 
you want to make sure that you're not checking your phone every five minutes to make sure that he's calling you or, or did he leave a message and you missed it. You want to make sure that on your birthday, it doesn't matter if he calls you or not, right? So those are sure signs about knowing that you are truly, truly done with your ex. I hope that some of these things have been very helpful for you. And like I said, please take your time to like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see, okay? Let me know what kind of content or what you want me to talk about. Because I done been through some things, honey. Your girl is 50 years old, and you name it, I probably didn't been through it. Trust me, I done been through a lot. So especially for my young, younger ladies who are in a different generation to me, been a single mom, I done been married twice, I done been single for a very long time. So I probably got some really great advice for you. So I hope that all my new subscribers, that you tag along and you follow this journey with me as I continue to grow this channel. We are almost at a thousand subscribers, guys. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. There's gonna be a big, big giveaway when there when we reach a thousand subscribers. It's gonna be a, a big um, giveaway that I'm going to make sure that I do. All right. So anyway, like I said, like, share, subscribe. I hope that you love this video and I will see you on another one. Tanya's world is out.